Hi, hello, and welcome. My name is Cat Link, and today we're going to be diving into the trash that is the internet. So one day I decided I'm going to go on TikTok and lose hours of my day doing absolutely nothing but scrolling. And I came across a TikTok trend that is just why. I question myself a lot like this on TikTok. Usually there are one of two trends that I come across and just question my very existence on this planet and why we're here and how we got here, because who doesn't? Anyways, so I came across this trend that involved making coffees. Uh, not just any kind of coffee, not just the iced coffees, not just the regular coffees, not just the espressos, the lattes, whatever you want to call them. No, 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 no. I'm talking about like six person iced coffees. I'm talking about pool iced coffees, kiddie pool iced coffees to be exact. I'm talking about chocolate outside the glass iced coffees. I've lost my mind on this one. However, I have picked very few of the ones that gave me a good laugh so I can share them with you. There are thousands, and I mean, there's like thousands of these iced coffee videos. It's almost concerning. Like, when do we start saying drink responsibly to coffee drinkers? Like, usually you would know there is a limit to the coffee in the day. Some people are vastly up there in their tolerance. However, this is concerning coming from young people. Anyways, I'm not your Mama, I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life. You do you, boo. It all started with this one video of a girl stoically looking into the camera while making her iced coffee for the day. And the one thing that really made it very jarring was just putting chocolate outside of the coffee cup. You know, usually you put the syrup on the inside. But I guess she just wanted sticky fingers that day. So, I was, you know, to each their own, I guess. It finger looking good, I suppose. Anyways, here's that video. Also, one thing you'll start to notice with a lot of these videos is that they have a crazy addiction to whipped cream. I don't know what it is about whipped cream. Like, you know, I love a good whip on my iced latte. Don't get me wrong. I go to Starbucks, second cup, whatever you want to call it in Canada. Anytime I go there, yeah, I get a little bit of whipped cream. You know, I get a little bit of, you know, caramel drizzle. Huge fan. Caramel macchiato. My favorite. Do I get it every day? Absolutely not. But it's a nice treat once in a while. But the insane amounts of whipped cream these ladies and gentlemen and MBs use on their coffee is just wild. <laughs> like, I, I don't know how much whipped cream you even need on a coffee, but my God, you might as well be injecting sugar at this point with some of these. I love that she just has this tub filled with like iced coffee decorations. Like she just has like all these marshmallows. And then on top of that, just happens to have a torch for her lattes. You know, honestly, I'm surprised she didn't bring out the hand blender. You'll, you'll understand what I mean in a moment. I also want to just point out the fear this girl had. Like, I don't know if it's fear questioning herself or a combination of the two, but I love how she just stops to think about what she's exactly doing and why she's doing it. It's like deep thought, like internet explorer sounds going off. Just the old school internet dial up noises in the background while her brain processes what she's doing. It, it, it's just the, the greatest thing. 10 out of 10. Coffee 6 out of 10. 
you know, I'll give that a 10 out of 10 for making me laugh. In the next video, we have these two girls, very common to the first one. However, these two ladies are just so stone cold in their reaction. It's almost just a plot worthy. They start off with the, with the chocolate, at least inside of the jar. But can we just talk about this overly large size jar that they just happened to have to make a coffee? I mean, I know the tag they had for it was coffee for six. Where's the other four people? They start pouring these liquid coffee jars in and it's almost insane how much coffee, like if you really think about it, a quarter of that, like one thing of those is basically not even a quarter. Like I'd say like that much of that jar like the jar is probably like the, the, the bottle is probably like this big and if you use like that much that's a coffee right there no they use two of those bad boys i'm starting to think that all of the gen zers are stressing out about their exams and midterms that they need to stay awake because they banned ritalin or something i don't know they got some kind of addiction i don't know what it is but it's a problem you'll start to notice that like 99 percent of these girls gentlemen and nbs all have this like crazy hand blender thing for their froth milk i'm pretty sure at this point the hand whisking business has just boomed in profits simply because of this trend we need to teach people how to pour liquids into glasses again are we back in kindergarten where little jimmy is struggling to pour his milk into his class are, are we are we back at that point <laughs> We're back on that whipped cream train again. They're, they pretty much use like the entire can to fill this monstrous iced coffee that I'm pretty sure they're throwing down the drain as soon as this video is done. There's no way they're actually drinking that. And if they do drink it, they drink it for like two seconds and then pour it down the drain. I do not believe for a second that these ladies are gonna sit here all day and drink that coffee. And that ain't fitting in the fridge either. Good luck with that. At this moment, you would think they're done making the coffee. You know, they put the mountain of whipped cream on the mountain of coffee with a little bit of sprinkle and drizzle. You'd think they'd be done. But no, they put pastry on the mountain of whipped cream on the mountain of the coffee. I swear one day they're gonna like tip the coffee to show it off. And then it's just gonna end up where... <laughs> The, the coffee just spills everywhere because they wanted to show off the top of the coffee. I mean, I'm just waiting for it to happen at this point. It would make my day, honestly. What made me laugh and why I wanted to add this specific clip is because the previous one, they were making a coffee for six. And then in this one, they're, they have six people. We found the four people. They have been found. You can stop searching. We found the other four people. Apparently, they were in Vegas. Anyway, so now they're making a coffee again. And all of a sudden, the coffee is maybe made for like three people. I'd say probably like three people can drink this coffee. However, now there's six people. So I'm just, I'm baffled. Like, like why, are, why were we before making a coffee with two people, but it was made for six people. But now we're making a coffee for two people. But we have six people. The absurdity in that in itself was just really funny to me. And I thought I had to add it just because of that. So immediately we start making, the, she starts making the coffee and she's just speed running this coffee process. Like, and I mean like speed running it. Like she's going, like she's got other places to be. She's got things to do. I can't even keep up with how much of this process has already gone by. My feeling is that she's like, hey guys, you want to be my TikTok video? I make these coffee videos. They're pretty good. Don't worry. Don't worry. You don't got to say anything. You don't got to say anything. You don't got to do anything. You just got to stand in the background, look pretty, look cute. Okay. Oh yeah, that sounds great. And I just got to sit there and not do anything. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It. You just stand there. And this video will probably get like 6 million views, so just, just look pretty. All right. And that, that's just how I feel the process went behind making that video.
Also, did she just put an ice cream bar on top of the coffee? <laughs> why? Why? Like, I mean, ice cream coffee sound is pretty good. Like, I'll be honest, ice cream coffee, pretty delicious. But an ice cream bar on top of a coffee. You know, I try it. Just to say I tried it at this point. Why? Why the hell not, really? All right, now to talk about the queen herself of coffee making. This girl just makes even more absurd iced coffees than like any of the other ones I've seen and she mixes it with like this ASMR vibe she looks great I'm sure the coffees are great probably not so immediately she starts with a banana for a cup I guess banana <laughs> honey golden syrup Milk. Coffee. Can I just say how much I love how she says things? It's just the most ridiculous thing. And she obviously doesn't talk like this, but it's like, Good morning, Rumi. Good morning. Would you like a coffee? I've been trying this new trend and it's to die for. You will love it. I promise. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll, uh, I'll have a co coffee. Yeah. I have a ton of work to do, so that would actually be perfect. <laughs> Thanks. Banana. Oh, well, that isn't my, you know, that that's not my ideal cup for a coffee, but you, you know, try anything once, right? <laughs> Go. Why are you talking like that? Did you hit your head in the shower or something? Are you okay? I, I just... I'm just concerned, is all. You weren't like this yesterday. The sweet whispers of coffee making in a banana. It really gets me going. It really does things for me, honestly. I, uh, what, what is nuts? Like, why are you throwing nuts at my face? I just wanted a coffee. Let's try. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. But for the banana coffee, honestly, I give it like a 2 out of 10. Oh. 2 out of 10, mostly because A, why are you using a banana as a cup? And B, she started throwing things everywhere for no reason. And then put gold tinfoil on top. She says perfect every time. Perfect. At, at some point, when do we stop the lies? On to our next. This was like the video that really made me want to do this. And like... It's just, again, they just, the stoic silence of just staring into the camera with the fake nails tapping on glasses. This video has already gone downhill with the camera falling and just the, the, the haptic getting everything going. But my main concern is not just the camera falling, but the shakiness of her hand. Honey, honey, are you okay? How many of those coffees have have you had today there's just this person just standing in the background just ha living out their normal life and she's just like gotta make a tiktok real quick the struggle she in which she had stirring that coffee just trying to just like stabbing the ice trying to stir it and just could not she gave up she was like you know what screw it who needs a stir Oh, guess what time it is. Ah, you guessed it. It's hand whisk time. Get the hand whisk out. Get the hand whisk out. Everybody get the hand whisk out. I, I, I told you that they all use this hand whisk. It's kind of insane. Oh, and don't for, also don't forget the whipped cream. Of course, you, you can't forget the whipped cream. The whipped cream is actually a vital ingredient to coffee making. Like you have no idea. If you don't have whipped cream on your iced coffee, are you even iced coffeeing today? Seriously, the handshakes on this person is actually insane. Like this is reminding me of like a meth addict trying to get their fix. The shakes are insane. <laughs> like 
<laughs> Please, put the coffee down. You don't need any more. Someone get this person some coffee Get the coffee down stat. Take out the shakes again. Next video. <laughs> You know, I've just completely given up on this. Like, I just I just don't even know what to say anymore. Why? Why are we pouring coffee on top of a chocolate bar that's just getting... Cho that's just, it's just getting the coffee everywhere. That's a thick chocolate, too. That ain't gonna break. That's gonna take a while before it starts melting through. You know, we're just gonna move on from this one. I just... Now, the next video I have in store for you is probably one of my favorites from this trend. And like I handpicked like a few from the thousands of this trend. So I probably missed some good ones, but I love these two so much. They're just so wholesome and so funny. And it gives me a good old belly laugh. Now, I've never seen someone so happy to make another person a coffee, but this is definitely the first for me. Usually, if someone asks me to make them a coffee, I go, yeah, sure, and just make it and then go on with my day. I have a quest serious question. What do you do when your nails are just so long you can't do anything for yourself? Like I just, I'm genuine question. I don't know how people live with like two inch, three inch long nails. They look great. They look great, but they're so long. Why? <laughs> How do you wipe your ass with those nails? Genuine question. Wondering. I don't have friends with insanely long nails, but I would love to know. Speaking of nails, this is the first thing I'm going to do when I get insanely long nails. If I ever do, which I probably won't. But if I ever did. Hey, so how are you today? You uh, look pretty good. Oh, really? That's, that's great. And, and how do you feel about that? Oh, really? Oh my God. So proud of you. Can't you hear my nails? You've had enough. I don't know. For some reason, that's just... <laughs> It's so obnoxious, but I love it. I'm just gonna pour this ice in and uh, don't need that cup anymore. There it goes. Throw it on the ground. But I adore the reaction of the person just standing there behind, just casually just watching the process. And then did he just do what I think he did? Did he just throw that glass on the ground? <sighs> thought I trained him better than this. And of course, yet again, it's time, you guessed it. Hand with time. It's about the time to take the hand whisk out. It's time to froth that milk or some, some, something like that. Anyways, yes, it's hand whisk time because of course, every single one of them have a hand whisk. You can stop frothing my milk. That is enough. If nail clicking had words, I feel that would be it. Also, don't forget the whipped cream, of course. Even though there's no room for whipped cream, do not forget the whipped cream. Even if it's flowing over the top, you never forget the whipped cream. Add it. Okay. Did that guy just poison the coffee? Did they put like some kind of drug in that coffee? Because that person fell over real quick. Um, what did you do? Honestly, that would probably be me. If I drank any of these coffees, like I'd take one sip and just instantly fall over. There is so much sugar in all of these drinks. I feel like any little sip of these coffees would instantly make me want to throw up or fall over and just go into a coma or something. Thing. So after all of the coffee drinking that we have witnessed here today, I have another one for you that involves a kiddie pool. They're making coffee in pools now using pool noodles as straws. When you, when you really think to yourself, I need to take coffee making to a whole other level. Having a friend over, how badly do you enjoy coffee where you need to make coffee in a pool? I don't think anybody loves coffee that much. I know coffee lovers and I don't even think they would drink coffee from a pool. These, these, these people look like they're like 18, 17. You still living in your parents' house or something. Are you trying to cram for your essays? 
So that's what it feels like. You gotta stay up all night to make sure you study, I guess. Again, I ate your mother. Drink the coffee how you want to drink it, but drink responsibly for the love of all that's good. All right, I got one more video for you, and this one is kind of over the top and just ridiculous, and I saved it for the last one because it just makes me laugh every single time. I love it so much. Immediately, we're not even... Where's the coffee? When does the coffee come into this? When do we even add coffee? We can't can't even add coffee to this coffee. Do you want milk with your coffee? Or do you, do, sorry, do you want coffee with your milk? No? Yes? Well, you've already filled the entire cup with milk. Ma'am, we can't realistically put coffee in that cup. We're go it's gonna be a mess. And if we're speaking of mess, ma'am, your phone? I'm pretty sure that's an iPhone. That is not a cheap phone. Can we also talk about the cleanup process of this? You finish the TikTok. You've had a great day. You're done. But then you realize there's milk everywhere. And if you're in a hot climate and you're just pouring milk all over the place, oh, you better hope you clean in that real good because, oh, Sandra, it's like 30 degrees outside and it stinks. Why, why does it smell so much, Sandra? Well, I just, I really needed to get my coffee in for the day and it just required a lot of milk. Did you even put coffee in the cup? There's a mop bucket here with milk. Don't tell me you're about to make another one. Please don't make another one. It smells so bad. It's 30 degrees outside. It's getting hot and stinky. It's going to get more stinky. I'm not a maid, Sandra. I'm your roommate. All right. She just poured an entire bag of sugar all over the counter, all over the cup. Mostly in, not even mostly in the cup, mostly on the counter. And then just, woo, throws it onto the ground. Do you want ants? Because that's how you get ants. I, I don't know if you know. But ants love sugar. Pretty much a lot of bugs just love that stuff. So you have fun with that, I guess. I don't know why we have an ant problem. I don't understand. There's just ants everywhere. Well, ma'am, you see, I found the source of your problem. It's caked sugar underneath your fridge your counters i'm pretty sure there's just a mountain of sugar on your counter right now i think we know your problem you have a coffee addiction oh there it is there's the coffee that's that gets you going for the day just a that's it whatever gets you going in the day i suppose there ain't no way she drank that cup of coffee and went mmm <laughs> All right, that's enough. That's enough. I'm done. I'm over it. I'm just done. I'm done. I'm done with coffee. I don't even want to look at a coffee. I don't want to think about coffee for another like 20 years or something. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm over it. I'm done. I need, I need to go drink some water and hydrate. I think I, I think I have diabetes now or something. I don't even know. It's gotten out of hand. Anyways, thanks for watching this deep dive of trash on the internet that just baffles me every day because this world is going places. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a good one.